What up, what up, what up? It's your man's in the blueprint. You watch Tay Pain 909 Live. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right now, we finna get on this for the, you know, for the sneaker heads. Um, getting off, you know, spin off to the Rick Ross situation with Reebok. Um, it's only right that I do some type of video about a Reebok shoe. Now, I think I only own one pair, if I'm not mistaken. One pair of Reeboks right now. I have more, but I gave them away, sold them, whatever. But right now, as it stands, I only have one. And that's the answer for black and white. I don't know, I just want to shoot. Um... <clears throat> Now, I've been really back and forth about this shoe. Really, to say the least, to, to, for a lack of better words, I've been back and forth about it. And it's got, and, and it's the Kamikaze 2 to Sean Kim. I was like, man, this shoe, at first it was hideous to me. Couldn't stand the shoe. It just looked like they just scribbled on it and was like, and just made a couple of adjustments, like they just said. And then just made a couple of adjustments after that. It don't seem like no thought was put into the shoe at all. Um, I haven't said that. I start seeing reviews about it, start seeing the shoe more. And it kind of grew on me for a little bit. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me kind of grew on me. And then I was like I had to think back like what was I doing when this shoe came out? Like when this shoe ca had came out what was I doing? Like what was out right then? I know some J's out. I know some dope Nikes probably out at the time. So that's why my attention was probably diverted away from them back in the day even though Sean Kip did some amazing things in that shoe that a lot of you guys that want that shoe you never seen before probably when y'all was born but anyway um, my thoughts on that shoe now as it stands now it's one it's still one of the uglier shoes to me but being given that it's so sturdy and the the, the, the materials on it are very great. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and say I rock them on court. On court. You know what I'm saying? Or, or leisure, lay back leisure time. I don't actually see myself like going somewhere. Um, going out to maybe like a casual spot where you can wear, sneak, wear sneakers, wear your regular, your regular get up. Rock those. Like, I don't see that. I don't see that for me, not one bit. Um, yeah, they, they, to me, they're strictly, I'm finna run up to the store, uh, go to the mall, uh, finna kick it over to homie's house with the Kemp's on. Like, that's, that's how I look at that shoe. That shoe is not, to me, the, just the, the look of it is not worthy enough to be rock nowhere else maybe like on a like you still go to school rock them there but nowhere where man nowhere out out like that nah yeah that shoe was hideous to me that shoe was hideous I'm sorry that shoe was that shoe was pretty hideous but I will wear it on the court though it looked pretty stable and sturdy so I ain't gonna spend too much time in this video but that's one of the yeah, that's one of the things that, uh, one of the shoes that I probably would not rock like that. And then there's so many other shoes to me, too, that just, that just trumps that shoe. Just my personal opinion. That just trumps that shoe. Good price at $100, don't get me wrong, but there's so many other shoes, that designs that trump that shoe, that I would get over that shoe, that I, yeah. Like, if you had to be like, like, if I was at the store, and it was Kemp's, and then it was some other stuff in there, 
I'll probably go with the other stuff. But then if I just need strictly for like, I wear them to work. Work, cool. Nice, sturdy work shoe. Probably won't get a, as much toe bend. That's another great thing about the shoe. But other than that, the Sean Kemp's get a, they get a no fit for me. Like straight no fit. So, but if you do see me in them, Anytime, a point in time, I got to be playing basketball. I'm going to work in them or I'm going to the liquor store. Peace out, West LA up.